There is a really neat tool available in the Autodesk 360 repertoire. And it's available with both your Autodesk 360 account and your AutoCAD 360 account. And this is the design feed. Now what I've done is I've set up two drawings. We have 05 design feed complete and 05 design feed .dwg. Now I've also saved 05 design feed complete to my Autodesk 360 account. So what I've done is I've done a save as, let the dialog box just come up on the screen, it's thinking about it, there we go, and there's my Autodesk 360 account, CADFM Consultants. So I've saved that in there. Now I'm not going to save it again because it does take a little while to think about it and I don't want to bore you with watching a file save. So just be aware that this is the design feed complete that has been saved to my 360 account. Now the design feed itself is very easy to find, it's on the Autodesk 360 tab which is available in newer versions of AutoCAD, and it's on the end there on the ribbon, Design Feed. Now, as soon as I click on that, it'll synchronize with my Autodesk 360 account and my AutoCAD 360 account. So at the moment, there's no posts yet in this drawings feed. So if I create a new post now, something along the lines of revise and check dimensions, let's say. And what I'll do is I'll put my initials there as well, just so people know it's from me. So if I now post that, I can add people to that post. I can add a photograph or an image to that. I can pin where I am to a point in the drawing. So I could associate this post to a point in the drawing. Let's do that. So what I'll do is I'll associate it, say, here. And there's my little bubble there associated with the drawing. Now, this is my drawing in my Autodesk 360 account. So I'll now post that. And there you go, that comes up, number one, see the number? And that relates to number one there. So there's number one post, number one post. So I can reply to that, I can tick it, or I can close it, delete it in essence. Okay, so that's my design feed there in my drawing saved to my 360 account. I'm just going to close the design feed there and bring up my browser again. So there's my drawing in AutoCAD 360, and there's Autodesk 360 there. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to refresh my list. So I'll refresh it there like so, and you can see there, uploaded new version of design feed, and all the information's there that I need. Now if I open this up now in AutoCAD 360, so give it a second, it's going to need to connect. So I click on the tab here, and it's thinking about it. So it's just loading it up now. It does take a little while. Remember, you're working on the internet here. And internet takes a little bit longer sometimes, but you can see the drawing loading up there. So that's taking a few seconds just to load up. And while that's loading, I'll go back to the 360 account. Now, we've uploaded a new version there of 05 Design Feed Complete .dwg. You can see there's the model, there's the three layout tabs, and it's all there ready. Now, what I can do, you'll notice here, is I can comment, and there's the design feed there. So there's the design feed in my Autodesk 360 account. If I go here now, you'll see it's there in my design feed there in the AutoCAD 360 account as well. And there's the note right there. Number one, number one is there. See the number one? That's how cool this is. So you can be working on a drawing somewhere in outer Mongolia, let's say, and you can quite happily, providing you've got obviously a signal, edit your drawing using something like an iPad and you can send design feed comments back to the originator of the drawing in AutoCAD at any time. Or they could just log into their Autodesk 360 account to see those comments as well. That's why the design feed is so sophisticated. It might look very simple, but you're getting that message out to all the people that need to see it. So it's a bit like going on Facebook and saying, hey, I've made a change to my drawing. So that's why Design Feed is such a sophisticated tool to allow you to work smarter and faster in your Autodesk 360 mobile environment.